Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in again. It's my third video is this one, so thanks very much to all my subscribers, my viewers, thanks very much. I was going to do a video on this uh, little four join independent chuck back plate, but I've been moving stuff around on the computer with that many videos. I think I might have uh, deleted it or oh, moved it somewhere and I can't find it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I'm going to take it back off, I'll put it on the lathe, and I'm just going to take chuck off, then I'm going to, I'll do a little diagram of what I've done, and you can see why I've done it. So, I'll just change it over, and then I'll, I'll bring it in, okay? Put your key weight at the top. That's nice and clean. I always put a bit of oil on. Stop some sticking. Well, it's supposed to stop them sticking. Nice stinky little chuck for small work. Just taking the screws out now. So I can remove the chuck from the back plate. I'll just put this in and uh, I'll use this to knock chuck off. In fact, I'll see how tight this chuck is. So I made it a tight fit and then I pushed it on with press. So the chuck back plate well these four holes them four holes that you can see there well actually there was a, a hole there a void in the middle where the center is that's why I had to make or adapt the original back plate to fit onto this back plate so I could use these holes It's about four mil thick, from that edge to there, with the recess on. But it also, there's a inside here. There's like a dovetail. There's a dovetail male joint, which goes inside a female one on this back plate, and the dovetail. On this external one is a couple of hours bigger than the internal one so I've heated this back plate up so it expands so I can put that one in then when it's shrunk it's pulled the dovetail in and this external one 
it's slightly shallower so it'll pull the shoulders up pulls the shoulders up tight just do a sketch That's my chuck, my chuck back plate. That one. And this one's my intermediate back plate. Which is something like that. There's not much in it, it's only like a five degree taper. So when this expands, that goes between there. So you can push that in. So when it's in, it's shallow of the bottom like that. There's a slight gap. So when that contracts, it pulls the dovetail in up to these shoulders and also holds it in. Then these screws here, they go through there like that. Into there. That's it really, it's quite a lot of work, it's, it's a pity I can't find that video. And these holes here, I used the original holes. These were a right mess, they were bored on the angle. He must have had his, uh, whoever did it, him or her, he must have had his uh, table on the drill. Not perpendicular to the t to the actual uh, head. The way out of uh, being vertical. Yep. So that's it. That's it really. Nice little chuck. I bought these. Can't have sunk them and drilled and tapped this. So when this was on. When it was actually shrunk on, it probably would have held, but I put these in, drilled and tapped it, can't sunk, just to pull it up. The main reason is because if it had been a full back plate right across, I could have just, I could have just used them holes, but with it being hollow in the middle, I had to do that. These screws aren't going to pull that back on because that was on really tight. You can see it inside there, look. See how the holes there. And then you can see they're about, about four mil, three, three, four mil thick. I'm just setting the press up now to push the chuck back onto the back plate. You'll have to excuse the film angle, I didn't notice it at the time.
So we've got to put screws in. Just have to knock it off again. Then we can put screws in just dry, just to uh, locate it before it goes, before it pushes it on. I'll put this back in the chuck on the lathe and tighten them up. I'm using a flat screwdriver with a spanner just to get more torque. Thanks a lot for watching this, just shows you what I've done with this little back plate, just because I said I would last week, well like I said I've lost the video, so if it turns up I'll put the video on, but that shows you what I've done, thanks very much.